Hey guys, today we're gonna to talk about the Runt 20. Now, the Runt 20 is a new amp from Friedman Amplifiers. And if you're like me, you've been probably looking at those amps because um, there's something intriguing about these kind of boutique amps that have this Marshall kind of vibe. Now, I've been wanting one for a while. In fact, I finally went down and tried the PT20 versus the Dirty Shirley just a couple weeks ago. And what happened was I didn't fall in love with either one. Main reasoning because $1,500 and they only had one channel. So what I ended up doing when I heard out heard that the, BD, the BEOD Overdrive came out, I bought that and I figured that would satisfy my thirst for the Freedom and Amplifier. Well then shortly after that, they released the Runt 20. And I thought, well, it's probably just the same thing as the other ones. And then I noticed it was like kind of a less expensive version, but I noticed it had a clean channel. And then I was very excited to try that. So what I did was I went on Reverb.com and I found uh, three retailers and I emailed them and said, I'm interested in buying the amp at 15% off. One said, okay, at 10%. One made up some weird price that I didn't remember or understand. And one said, okay. So I bought it for $1,105 shipped to my door. So 1105. So I thought that was a reasonable price to give the Amplifier a try, so we're giving it a try today. First, let me explain some of the amazing things I love about the amp already. The clean channel, which I was very concerned about, has one volume knob and a three-way switch. And if that doesn't sound crazy, um, I don't know what is. Um, that concerned me because I thought it was almost like an afterthought, like a waste. But it is probably one of the best cleans I've ever heard. This is my humbucker. single coils. So there's your volume knob, that's all you get, and you get a three-way switch. Right now I'm in the middle position, that's the darkest kind of position. Let's go ahead into the right position, it's slightly brighter. And do the humbucker. If I was in a gig, this would be the position I'd use just because it'll cut through. One of my concerns with the amp, because there is just a volume control and no gain attached to the clean channel, to drive it in any way, to drive the preamp a little bit harder, um, the clean is not as loud as I would like it for a 20 watt amp. However, the dirty is very loud. Now, if I go over all the way to the left, that's the brightest setting. for my ears, that's the humbucker, this is the single coils. And again, I think again in live I would go with the second highest brightest, but in, in the bedroom I like the darker middle position. I just love that. Is it humbucker mode? pedals beautifully we'll get that in a second so let's get to the fun channel shall we the fun channel has a uh, basically a three band eq a presence a master and a gain and a boost switch which dave freeman has explained that it's not a boost it's actually a cut so think of it as in boost mode it's in the brown eye kind of the heavy gain saturation point and then when you flip it back you can cut some of that so if you want to turn the gain down you get that vintage rock tone we're going to go ahead with boost mode in so you get the first taste this is the amp in my humbucker mode Put that gain at 10. that boost off, okay? Not a big difference. In fact, I think it actually reduces the highs a little bit. So again, we'll do the same. That's on, this is off. Softens it, makes it sound a little more palatable too. You know, right, um, even though the other side's not harsh, it's just more in your face. This is just a little smoother. Playing rhythm, like I would, li I'd like it in the non-boost mode for chord. But if I was playing a 
aggressive, I'd probably want that boost mode. To Now we take the boost off and turn that gain down. I'm gonna take the gain just a halfway. You get more of a kind of. Perfect sweet spot. any of that because if I just, even with the boost on and the gain of 10, if I just take my volume on my guitar halfway, I kind of end up in that same spot. I <laughs> it comes with a foot switch what's not as cool as the boost switch is not attached to that foot switch so you can't turn that boost on and off which would be a cool feature there's an effects loop and right now i'm running my new neighbor uh, reverb in the plate setting through the effects loop that's why it sounds so beautiful with that reverb so i'm running that the effects loop is uh Seamless. In fact, it changes the tone uh, not at all, which is uh, what you want in an amplifier. Uh, it has a cool feature in the back. There's a direct out recording, and, and there's an ability to actually run the amp with no load on it. So if you just want to use it as a DI box uh, for recording or into some device to use it as a headphone amp, um, you can do that, which is a very cool feature uh, that you can't really deny at this point. So it's really loaded up with some cool features. The only negatives I have um, is it doesn't come with a cover. And it's, I know it's nitpicky, but I'd like to point out again that Mesa Boogie's Recto Mini Rec and the Recto Verb at a cheaper price built in the same state in the United States with more features comes with that. So I thought, you know, you know, for this kind of amp, for this kind of price point, even 1300 bucks, a cover would have been nice just to protect the the co covers. In fact, when I was transporting it, I was using my Mesa cover. So um, that'd be cool. One thing I thought would be fun to show you guys is since I'm in clean mode, I'm going to use the Friedman BE Overdrive and let you hear how the BE Overdrive sounds to the clean mode. Not only will you get a taste of how it takes pedals, but also you'll be able to see comparatively, maybe if you're in the market for the sound but don't want to pony up for the amp because you have an amp you like already, that'll give you a reference to how close you could get to the Friedman amp with this pedal. So here's clean. Obviously clean. Will here's your overdrive pedal. And then now, we'll put it in the boost mode, and now here's the amp again. I personally, <coughs> excuse me, I personally like the Friedman amp more than the pedal. However, the pedal, I think by tweaking it, you can get close to this uh, amp tone. And uh, so for 200 bucks versus uh, 13 or 11.05, whatever I paid. Um, and uh, the only downside is I couldn't find a deal on the pedal, but I could find a deal on the amp. So Friedman amp has that's really interesting is it has the combination of two terms. I think it's uh, very tight and focused and buttery at the same time, um, which is an interesting description I would never pretty use before because uh, they're almost contradictory. But I feel like the notes are tight and, and really precise and focused, but yet I smoothly uh, has this creamy tone in it. it just kind of drinking the Friedman Kool-Aid now I don't know but I really do love the amp uh, and for that price for 1105 I like I said I'm, I'm very happy um, and I'm doing a new system with the ratings now uh, when I'm doing recommendations is uh, full price new um, discount price new used discount used or don't bother at all 
and I'm gonna give the Freeman Runt 20 the Discount New. Uh, so that's my vote. If you're in the market for one of these, I think Discount New is the way to go. Get a coupon, find a deal, and I think that's the best way to do it. Um, with a little couple bucks in your pocket. Uh, think of this, the money I saved almost paid for the pedal by $5. Um, so that's pretty cool. So that's something to think about. And as always, thank you for your time and know your gear.